Great Britain has reached a remarkable milestone as Queen Elizabeth II marks her 60th year on the throne. As a young girl, she didn't expect to become queen. Until the age of 10, she could have hoped for a quiet country life, but a crisis in the British monarchy made her father king. And 60 years ago, on February the 6th, when he suddenly died, she became queen. Now in her diamond jubilee year, she reigns over a different country and indeed 135 million people around the world. You know, she was 25. You think about how young that is for somebody to take on this incredible responsibility. But what does that mean? What does she actually do? It's been a life of turning up and reading official papers by this most familiar enigma. The Queen has, has provided a, a huge stability and a huge wealth of experience for those that want to tap into it. Oh, did you? You've had such a year, Mark. Quite busy. This series follows the Queen's working life over a year and a half. We'll hear from some of those closest to her. As all mothers, she's put up with a, a lot, and we're still on speaking terms, so I think that's <laughs> no mean achievement. We explore her own history and look at just how much, behind the pageantry, she has changed the British monarchy. Garton and Blackrod, <coughs> pray summon the knight's companions elect. She's a proper professional at her trade. You've got some young upstart like me trying to do it his way. It's always important every now and again to look at how it's, how it's really done. For 60 years, she's been looking back at the rest of us, understated sometimes hard to read. And over 60 years, many of us have become so used to her, we've stopped asking quite what she does or why she does it. We've taken her rather for granted. And after 60 years, perhaps it's time we stopped. <laughs> 